if you remember, widgets are um, these little boxes that we could use and customize uh, to our liking. Uh, these are social boxes, text boxes, a bunch of different things here that you could use for your blog. So uh, let's go ahead and just uh, this is the actually this is the primary sidebar. This is gonna be the from the top on the right hand side, right below your intro. So what we're gonna go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add a Facebook here, Facebook like box. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and title it like us on Facebook. tool <laughs> all right let me go ahead and uh, I already have it here in a notepad to save some time I have the order I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to mess up the order on my blog remember how uh, this is just for tutorials and I completely stripped my blog to show you guys so I don't want to lose the order uh, this is the my page URL show stream you could show the streams you know for more people post and that's pretty much it you save it now the Facebook should be right on the right hand corner all right I'm gonna close it and preview it all right we're back here and here it is like us on Facebook and there goes my Facebook page uh, right now I think it's still new it's not I haven't generated the people that have liked my page but uh, if you give it a few minutes it will generate the images of the people or at least the uh, five people uh, the last five people that had joined your your Facebook page they will show here it look pretty cool makes your blog look a lot a lot better All right let's just go ahead and close it for now and the next one we're gonna go ahead and add we're gonna go ahead and add a search this allows people to search by subjects uh, this is related to my my blog maybe you won't be needing this uh, but you know since I have a lot of content in my blog I want people to search subject subjects so you know just search box and that's about it just gonna save it okay then close right after the search I had categories post with email right have the categories this is going to show all the categories of different subjects that you add to your blog that way you'll break them down once you have like a total of 20 20 30 40 um, you know different blog posts then people will be able to categorize and view different subjects instead of having to scroll down one by one they could just dive in and look at one subject they want to study about and go there or they could just go ahead and uh, if you have different products, um, then you could go ahead and put all the category of your products and name them there. Uh, this only if it's related to you. If, you're, if it's something you don't need to use, you don't have to. You don't. You don't have to use this if if you don't want to. <clears throat> we just go ahead and save it. And the one that we post with images is next. This one is very, very, very nice. Here we go. Post with images. On the category right there. Recent posts is okay. Number five. What this does basically it allows you to um, um, uh, once you post, uh, it'll show the last five posts. If you see here, the last five posts, it shows them in in sequence. That way people could come in and, and just look at the right side, view the titles of the post. If they like one of the titles, they're going to click on it. It's going to take them directly into the page for uh, relating to that post. So just uh, like this good five. I see show recent post. Yep, article. Okay. There you go. Let's go ahead and save this. It's gonna show all the recent posts. Close it and then I'm gonna go ahead and add comments with with avatars. It's the same thing as posts with images, but just 
once people leave a comment it's gonna be it's gonna show recent comments on here on the right side that way once you log into your blog you can automatically detect uh, new comments on the right side so I just go ahead and uh, recent comments is good save okay and the next thing we're gonna add actually before we add anything else um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just review and see how how it's looking so far we added three new things to the blog okay here it is okay so we got the categories here as you can see OBU articles uh, a vlog series and on categorized recent post so you can see here the last post we just posted which was the uh, top five reasons why people fail in the online business <clears throat> is the last post that, that we we just created which is this one right here on the left hand side okay then see the last four I mean the last five alright so it's looking good so far so now what we're gonna add to the blog is very important um, <clears throat> we are going to add at least two two of your products on the right hand side uh, that people could just uh, they will attract people and they could kind of see oh let me check that out click on it and go visit the uh, your product page and possibly uh, purchase it because you see this is your blog so on the right hand side you have all the rights to advertise all you want this is your blog so uh, you know let's go ahead and add something let's add one of your products and I just want to show you just for tutorial purposes I just want to show you uh, so that you can learn for for anything just you know um, use this idea and, and do anything that you want on the right hand side of this uh, of this blog so uh, we're gonna add here is called the info box see highlight a product or service with a custom image so we're gonna do this we're gonna add one here let's go ahead and add it after the comments and avatar let me close it for now and let's go ahead and add another one let me see um, to the Twitter maybe yeah let's go ahead and add it under the Twitter okay. all right so now we need the the title which whatever it is that you're selling uh, it's gonna go here the title then the image URL which is the image um, where's the image coming from um, what WordPress will do is will generate uh, we're gonna generate the image according to the URL that you attach here that you put that you paste the description of your product and uh, the URL very important the URL will take them directly to the page where you um, you know where they could uh, purchase the product and here more so what I basically usually put here just read more As the title oh, okay but before actually let me go ahead and back up a little bit here and uh, take you guys let's just say let, let's just say that by this point you already have two products and you decided to uh, to advertise two products from Clickbank so let's go ahead and head over to Clickbank Remember Clickbank? We spoke about Clickbank in the last video, which you could promote um, different products uh, from different companies or or business owners, and you will receive a, a profit, a big profit per sale of the product. They it could be from anything from 60% of the pro of the profit to 75%. So uh, just for uh, you know for the tutorial, let's go ahead and find a product. okay so let's say that you want to teach people how to advertise their business on Facebook or you or you want to and you want to teach them how to advertise their business on Twitter so let's go ahead what you do is you just click Facebook um, let's say that you went with this product right here let's look for a product that you can sell 1641 Facebook advertisement guy looks pretty cool All right, so let's go ahead and um, let's say that this is one of your products here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a small image, a small image, something like this, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, 
I think they should do here. What you want to do is, yeah, it's about a pretty good size. So you right click and you put copy image URL. Okay, we're going to go back to the blog. And you're going to paste the URL of the image. Let's go back here. And what is the name? Facebook Advertising Guide. Okay, Facebook Advertising Guide. Um, the uh, the image URL and let's go ahead and grab uh, 